In this lesson, we'll take a look at some of the features that are built into our Wacom hardware and software that will help us to make the most out of the brush tool here inside of Photoshop. All right, great. So if you are a digital painter, then you know that there is no tool more important inside of Photoshop than the brush tool. And uh, we can actually take our hardware made by Wacom as well as the software that goes with it and use that to really sort of improve our usage of this tool. So uh, let me go ahead and first open up my Wacom tablet properties. And I'm working on a Cintiq 22HD right now, so I have a hardware button kind of in the top right-hand corner, and I'm able to open this window up simply by pressing it. Now inside our Wacom tablet properties, notice here that we don't have any applications listed in this application bar. So any changes we make down here, whether it's for our grip pin or our functions, are going to apply to all applications that we use on our computer. So let's go ahead and just simply drop in Photoshop here. I'll tap on that plus sign, select Photoshop, and hit OK. Fantastic. So now we can make specific changes to the grip pin properties just when working inside of Photoshop. Really good thing. So notice here that the buttons on the grip pin, sort of the toggle buttons, one by default is set to right click and one is set to double click. Right click is a really good one uh, as it pertains to the brush tool to leave set there. Let me show you why. So over here on our canvas, uh, if we simply use that same button, you'll see that the right click is mapped to the brush preset picker. So we can be sitting here painting along on our canvas, uh, decide we need a different brush and just simply tap that button on our grip pin, selecting the new brush preset. So that works really, really well. Now the other one was set to double click. You can see that right here. Now this one, double click not so much. I usually change this one. So let me show you what I change it to. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose a keystroke, just like so. Now this is going to allow me to just simply press the key that the keystroke uh, we want to assign to this. So I can just simply hit the space bar here. And you can see it's read as a space bar press. I can come down here and name this to maybe either pan or hand tool. Something like that. Now you can see that name gets placed right underneath so we know visually exactly what's assigned to that button. But now when I come in here, not only can I right click to choose my brush presets, maybe we want, uh, oh I don't know, maybe we want this brush here. We can not only right click to grab the brush presets, but we can also use the other toggle on our grip pin to pan around our canvas. So very, very helpful uh, as it pertains to the grip pin. Now let's talk for a moment about the brush radius. Uh, if you're a keyboard junkie, then you know that we can use the bracket keys to increase and decrease the radius of our brush here. But you may also know that we can also hold down the Alt key on our keyboard and right click. Before I do that, let's jump back over to our Wacom tablet properties because what I want to show you here pertains to the functions. So first I want to go ahead and add in Photoshop again, just like so. And let's go ahead and look at the express keys. And these are the ones on the left side of my Cintiq. Now, if I look over here at the very bottom, actually the second to the bottom there, notice that the keyboard modifier Alt is assigned to that. Well, that Alt key is half of our shortcut to increase and decrease the brush radius. The other one is right click, and we just assigned that over here to our grip pin. So, if I press that express key and combine that with one of the buttons on my grip pin, I can excuse me, dynamically increase and decrease the radius of my brush just simply by holding those two buttons on my Wacom hardware. Never have to touch the keyboard. There's actually another way. If that way isn't for you, maybe you need that express key over here for something besides Alt, then consider your touch strip. If I come over here to my touch strips, and for this I'm going to go ahead and look at the touch strip on the right hand side of my Cintiq. Go ahead and tap on that guy here. Notice that there's four different functions that we can use uh, as it pertains to the touch strip. Now, over here under express keys, this little button right here that separates my express keys, this is your touch strip toggle button. This will allow you to toggle between these four modes for your touch strip. Notice that this third one down is currently set to brush size. Well, let's take a look at that keystroke. We'll just come in here and select keystroke. 
and notice that the bracket keys have already been set up as the keystrokes for this. So I'm going to just cancel out of that. So I can come back over to Photoshop and at this point if I go ahead and hit that toggle for my touch strip on the right hand side of my Cintiq, you can see there are my toggling options. Auto scroll zoom, cycle layers, and brush size. Now whenever brush size is currently highlighted, I can actually use that touch strip to increase and decrease the size of my brush. So the touch strip is a great alternative if you need the express keys for something besides basic modifier keys like your control key, your alt key, or your shift key. Now as a side note, if your hardware doesn't have a touch strip, maybe you have a touch ring. This touch ring should function in a very similar manner as the touch strips. So uh, those are a couple quick tips on how you can use both your Wacom hardware and software to improve your brush tool workflows here inside of Photoshop.